Illinois, Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine reporting to you from Northern California here with Farm Advisor from the UC Cooperative Extension, Franz Niederholzer. We're grateful to have you here today. We wanted to talk about Cytospora, a disease that's been spreading. It's been a little more prolific since the advent of mechanical hedging uh, in prunes these days. Could you tell us a little more about that? Cytospora is a fungal disease that is, uh, it needs a way into the orchard, needs into the, into the trees gets in through sunburn, and it gets in through pruning wounds, we're discovering, unfortunately. And when you hedge in the fall, um, it may take a grower a number of weeks to get across a block if you're flat topping and then on side hedging. And that exposes a, a lot of uh, pruning wounds. Sometimes we'll get, um, creates a lot of pruning wounds. Sometimes we'll, and then sometimes we'll get a rainfall, and the, uh, the spores of the disease are carried in the canopy uh, inside the orchard, outside the orchard, and splashed onto those, those uh, fresh pruning wounds, and you get infection occurring. And that seems to lay low. Maybe you won't see it in the fall, but the next year you'll see a lot of dieback in those in those uh, pruning wounds, and it can be a real problem in some blocks. I've um, seen several orchards that have uh, quite a bit of, of pruning wound damage in the last few years, and uh, it's become it is becoming a real issue. So obviously, you know, labor's been a bigger problem, and that's why people are are turning towards mechanization. And so this is something that they've got to do. Yes. And uh, Maybe it's not uh, directly correlated, but it does have some impact on that. So what are some ways that growers can, you know, maybe adjust their machines or make things, uh, you know, if different applications they can do to prevent this disease from spreading? Uh, one of the things that Dr. Thamus Michelides with UC has come up with uh, is, is spraying with Topsin M, the, um, or and similar gen- generics into that chemistry, um, spraying as, uh, as soon after pruning as possible to protect those cut surfaces. You, you have to put the, the fungicide on before it rains the, because that's when the infection happens. It's not, so it doesn't clean up infections, but it prevents them from occurring or re- certainly reduces their, their, uh, their percentage of occur- occurrence. So um, I think we're, we're trying to stress to growers, hedging is necessary you know, based on the, the mar- labor market and the pricing of the of labor, uh, but protect those pruning wounds as soon as you can um, and there's ongoing research as to other options, but right now that's our, our major, uh, our, our key step. And also, when you find cytospora infections, to cut them out. To cut them out down to, to clean bark all the way around the, uh, the perimeter of the, of the uh, piece of wood. So um, sanitation, getting the, getting the damaged wood out, and protecting the cut surfaces are key parts of reducing cytospora damage in prunes. Cause, and it can, it can remove... You know, major portions of the canopy. So when you're pruning back the, the damaged uh, branches, how, how far behind the visible signs of this disease should you prune? Well, you've got, you, um, the, the disease runs down the, the branch, not evenly, it run, can run down fingers um, on one side of the branch or the other. And so if a, if a pruner, say, cuts off to, the, to a, a green branch, that may leave some of the disease still in the stub behind, you know, in in the wood behind. So when you when a pruner makes a cut, have them look at the, at the uh, the cut surface. Make sure you've got green, healthy bark all the way around. Otherwise, you have to cut some more. Right. It's kind of like cancer yeah. where they have to cut that out. And if gro- the growers are familiar with fire blight, you know you've got to cut cut aggressively to get the the tissue out of the tree because that's the only way you can remove the fungus from from infe- remove the infections from the tree. There's no spray to clean up infected wood. You simply have to cut it out, get it out of the orchard, and burn it. Great. Well, thank you. Read more about orchard management practices for prunes in California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.